How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how to use ExpressVPN on the iPhone. Now, I know I'm on PC right now, but no worries. I'll be showing you guys footage on the iPhone as I talk about the VPN. But before we begin, if you guys are interested in ExpressVPN, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review if you'd like to learn more about ExpressVPN. Okay, so all you need to do is, of course, just head to the App Store and look up ExpressVPN. Once you've done that, all you need to do is open up the application and click OK, enter your credentials. If you have a subscription, of course, you're going to need a subscription for that, and you are good to go. Now, using the VPN can be as simple as turning the on and off button, and you'll be connected to the smart location, which uh, ExpressVPN determines depending on your location. For me, it's France. But of course, you probably want to be a little bit more specific about your uh, server selection. So, uh, you know, you have plenty of countries here and server locations at 94 countries and over 3,000 servers. Uh, so, you know, if you're trying to, let's say, unblock Netflix US, you probably want to connect to a US location. Now, with regards to these settings, ExpressVPN is a super simple VPN. And it's made that way quite intentionally so that you don't have much trouble using the VPN. It's supposed to be easy to use and as effective as possible without really spending too much time fiddling with the settings. You have protocols such as Lightweight UDP, Lightweight TCP, and IKEV2. I recommend sticking with automatic. Uh, Lightweight UDP is definitely going to be the fastest one, but uh, automatic will always kind of adapt depending on your location. So you can just leave that on automatic. It's definitely the recommended one. If you go back to settings, you don't have much to look at here besides reinstalling the VPN configuration if you're having trouble connecting and the threat manager. And the threat manager will block other apps on the device from sharing your activity with third-party trackers or communicating with malicious sites. So this is just supposed to block any malicious uh, applications that could pop up on your device so that you're less likely to click on malicious sites. And that is pretty much it with ExpressVPN. It's as simple as it gets with regards to using it on your iPhone. Uh, and it's for the most part the same thing with uh, desktops. You know, you, you don't really have much to uh, look at. Honestly, with ExpressVPN, the user interface is going to be the same no matter which device you're using. Of course, if you're on PC or on your Android, you might see an extra protocol, for example, on Android. And you'll also get the kill switch and split tunneling on the Android. Whereas on iPhone, the kill switch is just uh, a system, an automatic system kill switch uh, that is designed to always be on. ExpressVPN will allow you to secure up to five devices per subscription, which is about the industry standard. And if your intention is to unblock streaming services, for example, Netflix libraries, ExpressVPN is going to be perfect for that. Express also run their servers on RAM disks rather than hard drives. So it means there are no physical drives to store any information on these uh, servers, which further backs up the claim that ExpressVPN has a true no logs policy, besides, of course, the uh, verified independent audits that prove that ExpressVPN really upholds its no logs policy and the sanctity of their users' information. So if you guys are interested in ExpressVPN, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review. If you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. So be sure to keep an eye out on the full review if you'd like to learn more. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.